head coach at Walton Verona, Mr. Dan Train. How we doing, guys? Good. How are you? Brought my stud second baseman, Allison awesome. Poor, senior. Awesome. Can you hear everything all right? You're good. All right. So, uh, you know, looking over the last season, uh, you know, a 12 and 12 record, and you know, I think uh, you lost two seniors from last year, Rachel Hendren and you know, Aubrey Anderson, who was a Division II first team player. Uh, you know. Two players that I think, you know, you would attest, you know, difficult to replace. Certainly. Well, first of all, the 12 losses were my fault. You know, if <laughs> one for me, we would have been 24 and 0. But uh, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, we, we had great, we had a pretty good team last year. They, they did a great job. We really got better at the end. But uh, certainly, Abrielle, uh, we miss her. She was a great hitter, our leadoff hitter, first baseman. Uh, she was really good. And Rachel, Rachel Hendren did a great job behind Plate. But, um, you know, they moved on and, you know, we fill their spots and we feel pretty good about what we have this year. Now, and uh, who else, uh, as far as, uh, you know, your returning starters, who are you looking to pick up that slack? Well, we, we'll build around this one right here, Allison Poor. Um, she's just solid in everything she does. She's coming off a, an all eighth region basketball performance. And, you know, last year she's a solid and every solid fielder. Solid hitter. She hits out of the two spot. A uh, great base runner. Uh, she just does the little things that winners do. That you know, she does the things that help help teams win. And um, like I said, she she's just solid in everything she does. And I'm lucky to have her. Uh, we'll build around our pitcher, Faith Alford. Uh, Faith um, did a great job pitching last year. She's back this year. She's sophomore. Um, she, she'll be our four hitter. Addison Michael will move from shortstop to, to catcher. Uh, Addison, um, one of our best athletes, great hitter. Uh, she had two home runs on Friday. Um, she's pretty good. Yeah, I, um, I, I'm, I'm familiar with Addie. You know, I've seen her the past couple summers doing summer ball. Yeah, she's one heck of a player. Now, I know you, uh, you know, and unfortunately, I work with uh, one of your players' uh, dads. Uh, and how's uh, Kendall Blau? Seventh grader, I know she, you know, a pitcher, you know, is she going to, you, you expecting to see her on the mound any this year, in the circle this year? Well, certainly, you're talking about, you know, her dad, Mean Jean Shaler, who's a, you know, I, I love the game. Gene oh. is off the charts, loves the game. He's ate up with it. And, uh, and my other assistant coach, Natalie Hargett, there, I mean, I got great help. Right. And Kendall, seventh grader, um, she's very impressive. Uh, she, she's a, uh, she pitched three innings the other night and, um, no hits, no runs. And, oh, and you know, I had she, to hear about it the next day. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> she has a presence about her, plus she can hit. She tripled. She had two hits the other night in our, in our game. So, um, you know, when she's not pitching, she's probably going to be in the outfield somewhere. But it um, looks like she's going to share pitching duties with Faith. So um, and I'm pretty happy with the fact that I've got two quality pitchers I can go to. And then an emergency. i got this, this one here on my left who really doesn't want to pitch but did a great job in a pinch last year. So, um you know, you know, we'll be okay there, I think. So, Allison, how do you see the uh, season going so far? Um, personally, I think we're a lot better than we were last year. You know, like you said, we lost Aubrey and Rachel, but we had other players step up and fill those positions, and I think we'll be pretty good. So. Yeah. What's uh, what success look like for you guys this year? What do you what do you what are your goals this year as the team? Well, you know, I'm a little older now, and I used to get all caught up with, with wins and losses. Uh, not so much since I've growing up a little bit in my latter years, but um, we just want to improve every day and, and be the best at, you know, kind of the John Wooden philosophy. We're just trying to be the best team we can be. I just feel like if you prepare, I was telling this to the girls last week, if we prepare the way we should and we go out and we compete and, we get, and the other team beats us, hey, we can live with it. But we feel like if the, the way that we prepare, to, if we go out and, and do the things that we've worked on and do them the way that, that we've practiced and been taught, we feel like, you know, we're going to be in pretty good shape. You know, we have our rivalries, of course, you know, with, with SK and, and Williamstown and Grant in, in our district. And, you know, Williamstown in the OA, uh, you know, in the 8th region. So, certainly we have our rivalry games that, that we want to win. But, um, you know, certainly 12 and 12 last year, I was not embarrassed by it. I thought we competed very well last year, especially uh, in the second half of the season. That's, that's why I want us to be this year. I want us to get better day by day and, and come tournament time, be extremely competitive and dangerous. Yeah. What do you think, Allison? 
think you're right. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you know, I think you know, I think every coach would be happy with you know, you know, as long as he knows his team's gone out there and given a hundred percent, you know, whether they win or lose. You know, they'll take that. And that you know, that, I think that's a good philosophy to go by. And I, I, we got great girls. I, I got a little freshman, Emily Taylor, is going to lead off and play shortstop for us. Um, Bonnie Walton, senior, hard hitting third baseman. She, she did a great job at third base. Um, Brooke Perry, center field, you know, a tremendous basketball player, tremendous athlete. She's going to. She's going to roam center field for us. Another, another senior, Aaron Bigley, is going to play left or right field for us. Um, when Faith is not pitching, she'll probably move to shortstop, and, and um, Emily will probably move out, out, to, uh, out to the outfield. So, uh, And then uh, a big addition for us is Emma Strunk. She's a sophomore who's taken over. She didn't play, hasn't played in years, but um, she's going to take over for Aubrey at first base. And that was a big concern of mine over the, the offseason was, can we get somebody at, at first base who can catch the ball? Um, and we seem to have found mm -hmm. and Emma's, Emma's done a great job so far. So I'm very right. excited, very excited about this right. bunch. You know, besides, the, you know, your pitcher and your catcher, you know, it's, I think, you know, first basemen sometimes get overlooked as mm -hmm. uh, a key position, especially, you know, somebody that can dig balls out of the dirt and, uh, you know, get off the base when they have to. So, no, I mean, yeah, replacing Aubrey, I can see as being a, a, a big shoes to fill. Yeah, you know, I have a, I have a slow pitch background, so I'm trying to learn this fast pitch game. And the, the corners, to me, are, are critical. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're, you know, you got to have a good shortstop, and, and, and we're real good with her at second. But uh, corners get so much action. And you know, first base, I don't need to be a, need her to be a miracle work. I just need her to catch catch throws. Right. You know, and miss, and uh, if she can do that, you know, she's golden. Like I said, with her third baseman, I think we'll be all right. Uh, I think yeah. When you bring up slow pitch, I mean, <laughs> oh, both of us, all of us. Kind of, yeah, we, we all grew up playing against one another. So we, you know, we know, you know, we think we know what we were talking about when it came to softball, you know, <laughs> oh, you know we played such at a high level of slow pitch right. and you come into the fast pitch game and I mean, it's, it's eye opening. Completely yeah. different. It's yeah. a totally different game. Yeah. So, yeah. Of course yeah. I came in, we know when I started playing slow pitch, it was all wooden bats. You guys can't say that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. And, we and, at least and, use the metal. <laughs> yeah. And, and you, you, the bats that they're using today, you know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, it'd been nice to have this kind of bats when me and Rob played, yeah. you know. I'm sure you'd have loved to have it, take it a crack at him with those. Well, I I don't know. I was I was pretty decent at uh, lobbing those little pop flies over the infield. <laughs> yeah, so I, I don't want those high power <laughs> bats. I just I just it would fly out to the to the dirt spot. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Dave and Allison. We appreciate you coming in, and good luck this season. Thank yeah. you, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it was no great. Problem. Appreciate thanks. it. Thanks, thanks, coach. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Good job, Allison. All right. Next we have.